The newly renovated Hotel Retlaw will host its first public event this weekend. Let's check back in with our Emily Beyer. She joins us now live in Fond du Lac with more. Good morning, Em. Hey, good morning, Brooke. Hello, everyone. We have moved into an area, you know what, that this is probably going to be my favorite space just because of all the food, but we are here over at the Espresso Cafe and Wine Bar, and I'm joined by Craig. He's with the Visitors Bureau. Craig, this is just a beautiful area that they have redesigned to make it very functional for meetings, any, anybody that's coming to this hotel to get some food. It's so true. This is an awesome, warm spot. What I like most, too, is a resident of the community that it's, it's lit now, this, this part of our community, once again, it's alive down here on Main Street and Division. It's just a beautiful spot. So folks driving by can grab a cup of coffee or uh, a nice Danish or yes. something, something like that. Right, uh, one of the many delicious things that you guys have over here for sure. That's right. And then, you know, we were talking about how this space is just very universal. And so people can come in or corporations can book their meetings and be able to use a lot, utilize this space. Yeah, it's an awesome property for tourists, but we're also really excited by the fact that it's going to be an, a great corporate meeting spot as well. Uh, Fond du Lac is centrally located throughout the entire state. Folks can get to the community really easy from Madison, Milwaukee, Chicago area, and this hotel is designed so well to host groups uh, for high-end corporate meetings or associations. We've got a great meeting space upstairs. We've got this cafe that opens very early in the morning. We have awesome food and beverage product. And of course, the hotel rooms are stunning. They're going to be just stunning. So we think, uh, we think this is going to be a great corporate uh, and association meeting hotel as well. Absolutely. Let's talk a little bit about the gala that's going on this weekend. That'll be the first uh, time that this area is going to be open to the public. Yeah, I was really impressed by the owner's desire not to do sort of a standard grand opening. And what they wanted to do was uh, something to celebrate somebody who had been a, an important part of the community. So they're going to do a gala this Saturday. Tickets are for sale and proceeds go to two very worthy causes. Uh, and uh, we, we just think it's going to be a great way to open the doors and say, here, we're, we're back. The hotel is back. Yeah. And it's been so fun, you guys, to definitely look around this place. They've, it's kept a lot of that old world charm. It's very elegant. There's a lot of design. Um, and then there's the new features. Obviously, the menu is new. Right. There's a lot to check out. So we're going to grab some uh, decaf coffee for myself. We've got some pastries here we're going to enjoy. There's so much more for you guys. It's all on our website, NBC26.com. We'll send it back to you. Coffee's what you're going to need this morning because